Rock a bar, baby. Rock, rock. Hello and welcome to this episode of Clutched. Today we're going to look at Honda's flagship model, the Civic Type R. Rock, rock, rock a bar, baby. So many of you have requested for me to review this Civic Type R and finally, I found one as close as possible to the original condition. Yes, I know this isn't the latest Civic Type R. Why then am I reviewing this? Well, before I get my hands on the turbocharged version, I feel that it's a must to have a look at this. This, of course, being the third generation Civic Type R. Okay, I really don't have time to waste. So to start off, here are all the important stats of the car. Sometimes when you drive a car, it's quite hard to tell whether or not the car is generally good. You know, because you really need a lot of experience to know what the car has too much of and what the car is actually lacking. When you drive a Civic Type R, you immediately know that this car has its sweet spot on so many factors. It's every boy racer's dream and soon you'll understand why. For starters, this car, it looks great. Though it is classified as a sports car, it is still very practical. I mean, come on, look at this thing. It has four huge doors and a really large boot. Imagine if you've never ever seen a Civic Type R before. You would actually never guess that this car can do the century sprint in six and a half seconds. But guess what? It can. And it can even do way more than that. This is what is referred to as a track-ready car. You can just roll this out of the showroom and straight onto a racetrack and you can have so much of fun. Because this car, it's made to perform. Which leads me to my next point. I'm going to talk about something that's very, very important. Something that's so crucial to Hondas that some people believe it's the reason why Hondas are so successful to date. And it gives many uh, racer wannabes and abings, orgasms. Are you ready? V Tech. V Tech. I V Tech? V Tech. V Tech. V Tech. V Tech. V Tech. If you're a Honda fan, then V Tech is nothing new to you. It stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control. And of course, it goes without saying, the guy who invented this is a Japanese genius. I wish I could shake his hand and maybe offer him some raw fish. If you're interested to know how V Tech works, you can click on the link uh, here. But if you want to know how VTEC sounds, turn up your volume. Illustrate how exciting this can get. Check out this video I found online. Oh yes! Listen to that V Tech noise. It's like Batman switched on the afterburners. Oh my goodness me! The noise is just glorious in this car. It goes into 6,000 on V Tech. Oh yes! On V Tech, off V Tech. On V Tech, off V Tech. Listen to that noise. It is absolutely fantastic! More power! My wish! Oh yes! This is fantastic! This is fun! And I want to play! For sure I want to play! For sure I want to play! I think he just gist in his pants. Put your foot down and the moment you cross the 5,800 mark, the engine starts screaming. Not like a little girl who's afraid of the dark. But like a, like a wolf on attacking mode. I've reviewed several turbocharged cars before and uh, yes, the Civic Type R, it does not give you a neck-breaking G-Force pull or some cool transformer sound every time you change gears. But the thing about the Civic Type R is the power, it feels very natural, you know. It feels very real, very pure. It's all engine, no turbochargers, no superchargers, raw power. Plus, in the original condition, you can actually get this car in white with white rims. I mean, come on, how many cars out there actually come with white rims? It's just the purity of a Civic Type R. 
Now I've reviewed the Civic FD before and it just amazes me how two cars that are, you know, pretty much the same can actually feel so different. Let me tell you, the regular Civic and the Civic Type R, they may be visually the same, but they're actually worlds apart. You will never find yourself in an RPM range where the car is struggling to pick up. It's like a horny Jack Russell on ecstasy, humping every damn thing in its way. And another thing, uh, you know how a lot of these newer cars, they have different modes you can select. Economy, comfort, and then you can put it on sports mode, and then your steering tightens up, your suspension tightens up. You don't get any of that crap on this car, because this car is always on sports mode. This is a sports car. You feel a great sense of urgency every time you're behind the wheel. The moment you get in and you drive it, you immediately understand that this is a no bullshit car. And don't you dare complain that the car does not come with cruise control and GPS and all that redundant stuff. Simply put, if it has weight and it's not important, you will never find it on the Civic Type R. This is a lean, mean machine. And I must warn you, the ride is very, very, very stiff. Every time you hit a bump on the road, you'll feel like as if you just fractured a bone. Ow, 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 ow. Your girlfriend is going to complain, your mom is going to complain, any friends whom you fetch in the car is definitely going to complain. And while they're yakking away, the only thing they'll be running through your head is if only they could feel what I'm feeling. In that sense, we can think of this car as a, a little bit of a selfish car because, you know, it's only the driver that really gets to feel. This isn't a very light car, but because the handling is so awesome, it feels very light and that's what makes the Type R so magical, no? it's so agile. It feels like I'm driving a, a, a go-kart, you know, with a roof. And yes, if you do spend enough money, you can modify whatever other car it is that you get out there to squeeze out the power. But the Civic Type R is different. Why? Because originally it comes with this power. It's tested and proven by the fantastic engineers from Honda. So you know that you're going to get power and reliability at the same time. Sometimes I really wish I can just lend this car to everyone so that everyone can actually drive this and understand what a car with really good handling is supposed to feel like. It's only when you experience the extremities you can actually tell, you know. Also, oh, this is what very good feels like and this is what very bad feels like, you know. You get what I mean? The Civic Type R is the closest to a proper race car you can get on our public roads at a rather reasonable cost. There's literally tons of aftermarket parts for you to dump on this car, but in all honesty, this car needs nothing as long as it has its signature R badge. Right here in Clutch, it's time for us to rate the Honda Civic Type R. So, is it going to be a buy, a don't buy, or an I don't know? Now, I think you guys would have guessed this. The Honda Civic Type R is a definite buy.